Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Uh, today uh, we will discuss uh, some product rule uh, related to chapter 12 of uh, additional mathematics for O level and IGCSC exams. Uh, here in this product rule we will use two functions u and v and uh, we actually differentiate u and v in such a way that we take the first function and the derivative of the second function and uh, plus second function and derivative of the first function. So this is the way that we can easily simplify uh, this. We take the derivative of this uh, function y is equal to x, x plus 4. So here we have one function is x and the other one is x plus 4. So this uh, u, uh, x is considered as a u and uh, v is considered as x plus 4. So, this u and v are the two functions. So, u is equal to uh, y is equal to u into v. So, in this way, uh, we differentiate uh, the first function, derivative of the first function is 1 and the derivative of the second function is uh, same as 1. So, we will take the derivative of uh, this dy and that is dy by dx plus is equal to this is uh, u and this is v, dv by d, dy, uh, dy by dv by dx. So, this is dv by dx plus this is uh, v and uh, this is du by dx. So, in this way now we will solve x. Uh, multiply by 1 is x and this is 1 multiplied by x plus 4 this is x plus 4. so when we add up we get 2x plus 4. so this is the way that it can easily be solved so the uh, another method is that we can multiply this with this one and then we take the derivative and we get the same value now let's move to problem number 1d so here we have uh, x square and uh, second is x minus 1 q. Now we can take it this x square as a u and this x plus 1 cube as a v. So this uh, u du by dx is equal to 2x and this dv by dx is equal to 3x minus 1 square. So this is uh, u dv by dx and this is v. Uh, this is v and this is uh, du by dx. I am placing at a respective places. We have this 3x square x minus 1 over square. This is 2x x minus 1 whole cube. Now simplifying and then we take this uh, x minus 1 whole square is common to both. We will take it out. And now this is x, 3x square plus 2x and 1x minus 1 was there. So we write it here. And uh, by simplification, further simplification, we have obtained x minus 1 whole square and this is 5x uh, square minus 2x. So we can take out x as a common. So this is x, x minus 1 whole square and this is 5x minus 2. So this is the solution. So this is the derivative of uh, this y similarly for, for this h part uh, this is y equal to under root x and this is 3 minus x square whole cube so we have to take the derivative dy by dx of this function so we will take this this under root x as a u and 3 minus x square is and uh, cube 3x 3 minus x square whole cube is a v this is v this is v then this is v. so if we take the derivative of this then this is x power half so it will be the derivative of this dy by dx is equal to 1 over 2 under Similar for this one, so we take out the derivative, 3 is here and then 3 minus x square is here and then 3 minus 1, 
and then take the derivative inside this is minus 2x so this is uh, 3 to the 6 minus 6 and 3 minus 6 square root now we will place that uh, this is u this is dv by dx so this is dv by dx in this place and this is u and this is du uh, this is v and this is du by dx so we place it at the respective position and further simplify so we get and this reverse Uh, now let's move to L part. This is y is equal to 2x plus 1 whole cube, x minus 3 whole cube. So take the take this one as a u and this part as a v. And the derivative of this du by dx is equal to 3 2 x plus 1 and this is uh, 3 minus 1 this is 2 and then take the derivative of inside this is 2 and we take the derivative of this one so this is 4 x minus 1 and then this x minus 3 is 1 this is one. so this is uh, 3 to the 6 2 x, is, 2 x plus 1 whole square this is dv by dx 4x minus 3 whole cube. Now place it, this is uh, u, this is dv by dx, this is v, this is du by dx and then simplify. Eventually we have got this. On simplification, this is simply take out some common and then finally got this one. This is easy uh, because two uh, x square plus one is, is here, two x uh, plus one whole cube is here, so x square can be taken out common. Here x minus three four here three power three, so three power three can be taken out common. So here we have this four and x two uh, x plus one is here, and here six and x minus three. Is here. So we further simplify and then. 14 we take out common so this is x minus 1 then x minus 3 whole cube 2 x plus 1 whole question number 2 Now find the gradient of the curve y is equal to x square x under root x plus 2 at point 2. We have to find the gradient dy by dx gradient means the curve means dy by dx we have to find the value of dy by dx at the point 2 8 okay at this point at this co uh, coordinate we have to find at this point we have to find the dy by dx so this is so this is y is equal to this so we take this as a as a u square and this is v under root x plus 2 so du by dx and this is dv by dx similarly dy by dx is written on and we cut this so this is uh, x square 2x plus 2 this is 6 so we take the LCM we have this and this is x square this is 2x and this 2 multiplied with this 4 and x plus 2 so this is x square 4x square so it becomes 5x square plus 8x now we put uh, at uh, 2 comma 8 so we will put the value 2 here as a value of x at 2. So when we put this value, we will get this So the gradient is at this point, we have gradient, find the gradient as uh, 9. So this was the required value. This, was, this is the answer. So let's... Uh, Uh, now 
question number 3 is the same thing and let's move to the value uh, problem number Four. Problem number four. This is problem number four. It says uh, this is a this is a function and the curve meet x axis at y is equal to curve meet x axis this curve meet the x axis at meet at x axis this curve meet at x axis x axis where the m at x axis the value of y is 0 so we put the value since the curve meet at the x axis y is equal to 0 so we put this equals to 0 we got this value x as minus 2 and x is equal to 5 and now we take this u and v and find the derivatives. So we have obtained this derivative dy by dx and now we will put this uh, x is equal to minus 2 and x is equal to 5. So first uh, we take out the dy by dx which is this and now place this value x is equal to minus 2 and then 5. For x is equal to minus 2 we have obtained this as a 49. So place this value minus 2 minus 2 here so this is minus 6 minus 1, 7, it's minus 7. So this is 49. And when we place uh, x is equal to 5, then x is equal to 5 means dy by dx. So we have two values dy by dx at x is equal to 5 is 0, and dy by dx at x is equal to minus 2 is 49. Let's move to the question number 16 for the x coordinates of the point on the curve. Find the x coordinate of the point on the curve where the gradient is given. So we have to find the value of x where this, this curve has a zero gradient. When the curve has zero gradient, we have to find the value of x coordinate. this is x coordinate of the point so this is uh, the curve we have uh, y is equal to x plus 3 4 minus x so we'll take out the uh, derivative dy by dx and we'll place this 0 there so we'll take the derivative of this so this u and v is given so u is uh, du by dx is 1 for this u and for this v, we have dv by dx is equal to 1 over 2, 4 minus x minus, so this is half, so this is, this is the uh, under root. We forget to take the under root here, but we have placed it here, so this is okay. So this, here we have an under root. So this is here, so this is minus 1, so this is okay. But this here we have to place this under root here. So this dy by dx is this. So this is uh, u dv by dx plus v du by dx. Okay. So we'll place this uh, dy by dx as taken out this. So we'll take the LCM and we have this so Eventually on simplifications, this is x plus 3. Uh, here we have a minus sign. This is minus. So this will minus multiply here. So here we have a minus here. Okay. Uh, this minus this so plus this is multiply with this one so it becomes 4 minus x and then this multiplies to this is on simplification we have this minus 3x plus 5 divided by 2 under root 4 minus x so we have to place this dy by dx this value equals to and this equals to 0 so we will place this equals to 0 so eventually the denominator will multiply with the 0 to get 0. So minus 3x plus 5 is equal to 0. So this is x equal to 5 over 3 or it may be right down as uh, 1 over 1 over 3. So this is 1. Sorry, this is not 2. This is 1. 
one over one over three. So this is the answer. So in the next session we are, we will discuss twelve point 